Hey crew, it's Pitt, and I'm back with another reaction video. We finally worked our way up to it. He dropped a new one last week, so I had to cover that first, but it is now time. It is time. It is time for Tom. White boy. This is guaranteed to be a discussion starter. I want to make it very clear from the outset. This is not my first time hearing this. I have listened to most of Tom. I have listened to most reactors react to Tom. So this is by no means an original first time out view. That being said, there's plenty to talk about in this. So we're going to dig in. Let's go. Also, go ahead and get it out of the way. There's a whole nother video associated with this that talks about the shoot. And everybody in this video knew about what was going to be said prior to it and agreed to be there. There was one guy who was most difficult, and I bet you can't pick him out if you ain't watched that video. And so we're gonna we're gonna dig in. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. And right there, we're already gonna stop. And that is already the truth. I can absolutely understand the feelings of resentment and the feelings of whatever, but. America was never the best. Well, no wrong, wrong. I said that completely wrong. America's is the best, but we've never been perfect. We founded a country at a time when everybody on the planet belonged to someone else. The only thing was who you belonged to was different. Make sure you understand that slavery did not begin with America. It did not. It did not begin in Africa. It is the history of humanity. Humans, as long as there's been humans, have made somebody else do the work. That has happened. That being said, that this country right here is the only one that has fought and died for freedom. I understand that the rest of them joined in and there was all of these things and whatever, but the home for freedom the overarching home for freedom is here. We fought a war to free people from slavery, the worst blood spill ever in the history of the United States. I mean, I'm not gonna say ever, ever, but pretty close. The most blood ever spilled here was for that. It was to free people. Now, people were fighting against it, absolutely. They lost, absolutely. Terrible things were done. There is still racist things going on, but it is not as bad as the news makes it out. It is not a systemic problem. And if you think it is, you're probably a communist. Sorry if that makes you feel a certain way, but it is. We're gonna get into more. There's, there's more to say. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me right. As a matter of fact, I have stood vocally against it. And many other people have too. And that gets overlooked. That gets pushed to the side. Like, I have not made any high, like I haven't hidden at all where I came from. I came from a racist family. That was ingrained in me as a child. God took that from me. It really is a non-issue for me anymore. But I know the people. I know people who are like that. I don't associate with those people, but I do know people who still are that way. I have been recruited to the Klan. That was a funny conversation. Like, I'm not going to fight you for your ignorance. It's not going to happen. You're not going to go hunt down people for ignorance. That's not going to happen. Y'all make me, don't make me, don't make me have to defend a racist. I don't want to do that. Let them be ignorant. They're dying out. It's, it's happening. It's taking time. You want to be pissed off about that? That means you're soft. Sorry. Your neck and no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hit my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And see, that's what the energy level is in this house. I grew up in a racist household. There is no doubt about that. That was a normal thing 
when I grew up. Racism was no stranger in the home I grew up in, but it is a stranger in this house here. My kids learned what the N-word was from the news. They learned about people thinking that other people were less from the world. They did not learn that in my home. They didn't understand that when they got out in the world. We've had several discussions, like we've talked about this their entire life. I am raising warriors for God. Like That's what I'm doing. And that is part of it, is changing this. Because God took this from me, and I refuse to pass it on to anyone else. I don't tolerate that energy level in my home. No. If you got that energy, you're not welcome here. That's all there is to that. And not white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. And my, my papa fought Nazi. He was in the Pacific campaign, but he, he fought, you know, for the Allies, not the Axis. So, for somebody to compare me to a Nazi, when all I want to do is live freely, equally, and without prejudice, pisses me off. The hatred for cock Call me a Nazi to my face. Asians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say the white race as a whole ain't the enemy. There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy. That's the dude right there. Yeah, I told you you wouldn't be able to guess. That right there. Like, I don't put stock in this, but I will be damned before I allow you to tell me I can't say something because I'm white. Bitch, please, with your racism. Just saying. I ain't doing it. I'm going to say whatever. It makes you feel a certain way. It's because you soft. I, I'm not. I, I put out the energy of education and intelligence. That is where I'm going with life. I am raising two fine children. So we don't deal with the ignorance. Don't come at me with no ignorance. Though. I'm not gonna put my hands on you unless you make me. And I promise you, I will stop it. But I will let you know you're ignorant. Like, I will. Without cut. Hey. I'm with that bullshit. If a black I'm gonna piss you off enough you're gonna wanna put your hands on me, I promise. Like, if you soft like that, it's gonna happen. If a black man is sipping on some cognac sitting next to me, I don't assume that every black's favorite drink is Hennessy. <laughs> I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a... Waste of energy. I oh. <laughs> There's a lot said about these names, foolishness. Hey, I don't care. Like, hey, what you want? True story, though. When my daughter was born, I was in the hall waiting for the lady to come around with the birth certificates, right? Because you have to fill out the birth certificate and give the child a name. The people right next to us, and it was a black family, but like. <laughs> She reads the thing, and she says, Oh, Famale, that's a good name. And I tell that story because that's some funny shit. Famale. Like, I really don't care what you name, what your name is. What I don't, it don't make no shit to me. There's no energy going into that for me. If you want to name your kid something, they're going to be mistaken for something else, then that's kind of dumb on your part. But, it, like, I'm not going to live there. Feel me? Tanisha, cause her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a waste of energy. Ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same. Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry. He just dropped some truth right there that most people overlook. They're like, it ain't the same Martin Luther King and Kennedy. The same people killed both of them. And there's a good possibility the same people took out Biggie and Pop. There's a good possibility the same people took out a lot of people. 
Now, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about in this alphabet from this country. Just saying. Angry, I'm reciting the facts. He's white and he raps. He stole the culture right from the facts. Okay, it's fire, but we lit the flame. We siphon and gas. So this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack. And see, I'm, I'm going to get into that too, because this country right here is what we used to call, when I was growing up, we called it a melting pot. Because we took all of these different cultures from around the world and we melted them and we melded them and we each kept our own stuff and we appreciated other people's stuff and we adopted the things we like and we kept the things we did. Like it was a, it was a culture to accept people when I was growing up. Now it's a culture to separate people. It's like we're different or something. We're not different. Like, we're all human beings. We may have grown up in different ways, and we have different mannerisms and different ways of dressing and different ways of speaking because of the way we grew up. But that doesn't make us different. It just makes a difference. You letting history perpetuate the hatred within, and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with. Yeah. White boy, don't say that. White boy. Oh, you so bad, white boy, you wish you were black, white boy, dear white boy. Sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. Uh, I will fight for mine. And God willing, what? Like, I don't start violence. Like, those days are well beyond. They are way beyond. But. But. One day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife or my baby. So go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop. That's the other thing. The system is designed against all of us. This emphasis on these people are being held down and these people are being held down, but these are being lifted up. It's some bullshit that they're selling to divide us. He got into that on Brainwash. And he had to here say it this way. Like, if he didn't say it this way, then it would have been, oh, he's just a racist. That's all. So we're not, like, we're not there. It's not systemic racism anymore. It's not. If you're thinking it is, then you're looking too hard. Not before you and that is not to dismiss actual racism at all. You have actual racism to fight with you. But this, well, it's just because it's a white system. That's some, that's some soft shit. That's some child shit. We're about man and woman shit on this channel. Say it, I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make Ooh. No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave Ooh. And neither did our dads or our dad's dads But, and this is a very, 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 very important but Right now, as you're watching this And as I'm recording this And as he recorded this And as he thought of the song there is actual, literal slavery going on right now. And I am not just talking about the sex trafficking happening in this country, which is a thing. And I'm not just talking about the pedophiles taking these children. And that is a thing. But there are literally slave auctions in the market with a block that they put people on with chains on them happening right now <laughs> right now thank you barack obama for bringing slavery back sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed is all that i can offer when i'm wrongly convicted i would never when i talk about obama like i do not like that man at all it has nothing to do with this and everything to do with his policies I did not like a single thing 
that he did the entirety of his fucking his, his time in office. I didn't. Like everything he did was antithetical to the United States. Everything. Atrocities were wrongly committed is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted. I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments and I would never plot against him just because he is different. I would never judge a human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. We're going to play that back because it needs to be said again. And y'all pay attention to the names on this list. He missed an important one. Soros. That name needs to be on this list too. Human for the cards he was given or call him lesser than myself because of the race that he's mixed with. White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers. They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes, and Royals. That right there is more truth than most of you can handle. They're the people who monopolized the water and oil and injected your communities with drugs that they spoiled. Got no patience for Nazis. I think they're better off dead. Yo. They're fighting hatred with hatred, making the hate more intense. Yo. I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence. Yo. So don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head. Hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto. Hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so. And that is true. But there is an awful lot of let's stay in the ghetto going on. And you can talk all you want about, oh, well, you don't have a choice. You're born there and you can't get out. That is a fucking lie from the devil. This country, you have the freedom to go. You do. You have the freedom to go wherever you want across the length and the breadth of this land. That is a right. It is something that you were born with. <clears throat> this is where we recognize that right. And because you have that right, you can leave the ghetto. And they're like, well, it's just too hard to go. And it is hard. I will grant you that. But tell that to these Guatemalans that are coming up and they live 15 or 16 in a two-bedroom apartment. And I know, like, I'm speaking from people I know. They're 14 to 15 people in a two-bedroom apartment. And they are grinding every day. They are out there seven days a week, 12 to 14 hours a day grinding and you know what they do they pull their money they save it up and they 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 succeed your boy comes from ethiopia like he is blacker than anybody in this video like for real like black 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 he he speaks eloquently but it's with an accent he came here with nothing zip zero zilch nothing he came as a refugee from the people, like, the, if you don't know, the Ethiopia has a famine problem. He was a refugee. He came here with literally nothing. He's got a nicer house than I do. He's got a nicer car than I do. And he's on the grind. He's not a college-educated man. He hasn't done, like, superb things. And when I say that, like, not, like... He didn't ever write a book or started a movie or wrote a song or any of that. All he did was cut grass. You feel me? So don't tell me that you can't do it. That's some bullshit. That's some soft shit. We don't play that soft shit here. People need to hear this. If you want out, you can get the fuck out. It's, it's possible. Like, for real, there's places all around here you could rent cheap. A lot cheaper than you could rent up there. And we'll welcome you. Like, if you come down here correct, there is nobody around here that's going to say shit. Come down here, and you're trying to sell that shit, then you will get talked to. Promise. Otherwise, do you grind, babe. Do you grind. So, hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely. Because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies, being white and being racist aren't the same, man, I promise. No, it's hard to tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem. Yep. And you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in so common. Much. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, be a white boy. Say that. Why?
white boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, dear white boy We're gonna let it finish out, you know how we do? Y'all make sure you get over there and show Tom some love Like you probably already did, his views and stuff are amazing Tom is spitting truth He put his life on the line with brainwashed, I promise And uh, <laughs> I missed the Topher response in that completely Sorry, that was good. I went back. I've watched. I've watched it a lot since then. Um, this one was a much needed one. It came a long time ago. You're not going to see this, but I'm still going to thank you anyway. Thank you for this. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. I am praying for you every single day. This has been Pitt's take. Peace.